Alrighty, so we have an interesting little update on Canada's Wonderland today. Um, I was going to release this yesterday, but me and my team wanted to sit down and fully digest what we were looking at. So we gr we're going to go over a lot of options here today. Um, or I should say tonight, because this video is going to be released really late. We honestly had like a good two hour conversation literally like five minutes ago um, before recording this to just fully digest what we were looking at. But for those of you that don't remember, over the summer, we were looking at some really interesting um, kind of things going on around Mindbuster. A lot of conversation about Mindbuster's future had already begun in the season before now. And it, it, it keeps honestly getting more interesting the more we learn or the more we see. Um, a lot of you and a, a, me myself have been kind of hopping back and forth between Wild Beast, Mindbuster, RMC Wild Beast, RMC Mindbuster, GCI this, GCI that, um, and we've been leaving out a, a few other options. So this is where things get a little more interesting. We know um, that Mindbuster is one of the older attractions in the park and wood coasters tend to not age the best, especially up in a Canadian environment. Uh, but before I go into details, I just want to stress that Amusement Insiders does not have any inside information on Mindbuster. Amusement Insiders does not know what's going to happen to Mindbuster. Um, so for those of you that are watching, please understand that this is a rumors and speculation video on Mindbuster. Um, and until we see solid facts like an RMC truck or GCI truck or get like, you know, documents from the city um, that happen to get leaked all around the world, um, for other projects until we see something like that nothing is concrete so watching this video definitely just understand that amusement insiders is not saying this is going to happen um, we are just entertaining the idea for mere fun and speculation so let's get right into it um, for those of you that had keen eyes in yesterday's video you can see that mindbuster most certainly has some bulldozing or land clearing going on around it along with the um, construction trailers that have been there for the last two to three months now um, you can also see someone kind of looking up at the break run of Mindbuster. Um, you can see, again, the land clearing going on, which is super interesting. And if you look really closely, there is, um, I might actually insert it. If you took the image I took on my drone and uh, zoomed in, it looks like they ripped up some wires that are at the base of Mindbuster's hill. There's like little, like almost like trenches, like just the almost like small clearings or dugout sections, which look like they would be digging out electrical wires coming from the base of Mindbuster's hill. There's no evidence of the land clearing heading towards uh, Yukon Striker, so it does stop right at the base of the lift of Mindbuster, which is super interesting. Um, so. Again, it could be for Yukon Striker, but I'm not seeing any evidence of that being the case yet. Um, from my understanding and what I watched and uh, recorded earlier in the season, electrical for Yukon Striker was done. Actually, it was one of the first things they did for Yukon Striker. Um, I feel like this is like every time I say Yukon Striker, <laughs> I'm saying it too much in this video. But yes, back on track. So it's very interesting. So you have the land clearing, you have the electrical company's Hartwell Construction or Hartwell Electrical, sorry, on site. Um, and based off of this, uh, we decided to analyze what would best fit in this location and what could Wonderland do with Mindbuster? There's so many options. Again, RMC is one of the first things that jump to an enthusiast's mind when we're discussing the closure of a wooden coaster. So if Mindbuster were to close, um, let's say Mindbuster is no longer operational or Mindbuster is under a expansion plan, um, what could happen? So, I mean, there's lots of options. We could be looking at RMC, and yes, that is a very likely option, but Mindbuster doesn't really house one of those awesome layouts that really would benefit from an amazing RMC. Yes, RMC would definitely turn this into a masterpiece, but Mindbuster is definitely not one of those wooden coasters on the top of the list to be an amazing RMC. A lot of people definitely think GCI when they're looking at a layout like Mindbuster. They could be building, you know, these awesome airtime moments, turn it into something amazing. But what a lot of people left out is a mock double launch coaster. I mean, if you looked at that footprint and they removed Orbiter, that would house a mock double launch coaster perfectly. And imagine that rustic tones on the uh, mock track in that area fitting into Frontier Canada, it would be phenomenal. And then you have that whole second half of Mindbuster that could be utilized for a water park expansion. So it's almost like knocking two birds with one stone in this instance. I don't know why I keep getting that messed up, but 
I honestly think removing Mindbuster for a future attraction would be in the park's best interest and it just makes the most sense. Can you imagine half of Mindbuster's layout being utilized for better water slides and expanding the water park, which we know Wonderland needs to do. That water park fills up and is at like max capacity from what I can tell um, almost any given hot day in summer. And then you take the mock double launch coaster and put it in its original footprint and include the orbiter footprint as well. You got a nice um, Frontier Canada themed double launch mock coaster added in. I'm absolutely ecstatic for that. I mean, when we were at Media Day for the park, we were kind of hinted at the park and guests do really go after the new large steel coasters, the keyword steel coasters. And that's what the park looks at when adding new attractions. In fact, I remember it even being further expanded that at the time, again, at the time, the park didn't see RMC as um, a viable kind of like marketable attraction because guests preferred the larger steel coasters. Um, so that's all we have on that. I just wanted to present all these ideas for you, let you guys know that there's definitely some interesting activity going on over at Mindbuster. Um, so I wanna hear from you guys, comment down below, what do you think is going on with Mindbuster? And would you prefer a Rocky Mountain construction, RMC, a GCI, or a mock coaster in its footprint? Comment down below what you guys think and what you would prefer. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Bye!